Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Pivotal Moments with Lalita. I am so excited for another amazing episode of Pivotal Moments. And speaking of amazing, <laughs> I am super excited about today's guest. I have the owner and founder of Amazing Granola Snacks. And we've been trying to connect for a little while, so I'm super excited that we are getting to connect today. And we're mm -hmm. going to find out about how Stephanie has pivoted and a little bit about her, her journey and her business. So I'm excited about that. If you're just tuning in for the first time to Pivotal Moments with Lolita, a little bit about what this video series is about. We know that especially this year, everyone has been talking about having to pivot. There's been so many changes and in, in personally and professionally, and we've had to make those important pivots. Some people have been very afraid about it. Some people have felt stuck. So what I wanted to do was put together a video series where people from all over with various backgrounds could kind of come together and share just a few minutes about how they have been able to pivot in life and um, what tips they may be able to offer for those who are trying to figure out how to make some pivots in their life. So without further delay, <laughs> welcome Stephanie, founder, owner of Amazing Snacks. <laughs> Thank welcome. you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I know I did a brief introduction of, mm -hmm. as far as what you do, but did I leave anything out that you wanted to mention in, 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 your, in, in introducing you? Um, no, not really. So basically, um, you, you did a perfect job. <laughs> um, but our company, again, it's amazing. We produce a food product. Um, uh, it's a granola snack. Um, we're based in Washington, D.C. And um, we basically have an online business and we wholesale to uh, some local grocery stores in our region. Yeah. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. And it really, truly, like, it's not just hyping it up. It really, truly is an amazing snack. <laughs> so, you know, we're talking about pivoting. And one of the things that I like to uh, share when I start off this, these series is a little bit about pivotal moments. So what I'll do is actually just read this, um, because I think this is really key in understanding why I wanted to really highlight the pivotal moment. Uh, okay. This is pivotal moment in most people's lives is an important point that signifies a shift in direction. In the mm -hmm. word pivotal, you see pivot. And that is because when something is pivotal, it is central and everything related to the topic turns or depends on it. So mm -hmm. that's really how pivotal moment is defined. So Stephanie, what would you say is a time in your life when you had to pivot? Okay. So um, I would just share the story of um, why and, and how I started uh, the business or started venturing into the um, business field area. Um, so basically, it was motherhood that um, made me transition to uh, starting a business. Um, I had a two-year-old and an infant, and my two-year-old was kind of uh, sickly had like chronic ear infection so it's always taking off from work um, every two weeks to take her to the doctor the once I had the second child I was like something to me had to change I wanted to be home um, and spend more quality time with my children so just thinking and started brainstorming about different ideas of how I to accomplish that so um, we I decided to start a business and <laughs> it's not <Wow>. easy <laughs> but it gave me a more flexible schedule that I desired so I could be home with my children and take care of them, you know, and spend that quality time that I wanted um, with them. So um, I didn't start out with Amazing, um, my current company. I started out with a dinner delivery service because um, at that time, as a working, uh, full-time working mom, it was, it was hard to come back, come home, and to you know get into the whole you know let's what's for dinner um just it, it, it was challenging to cook like healthy meals every day and still be able to spend that you know quality time with kids in the evening before they went to bed so i wanted to provide an option to other working families um so that they can have healthy meals that are still quick and easy you know so like you know it's just like going you know out to the fast food restaurant but it's, this is um, home-cooked, 
um, healthier, made from scratch meals that are, are delivered directly to you and you just pop them in the microwave or oven and, and dinner is done. So, so that's what I did for a number of years along with some catering. Um, and along the way, um, we uh, developed a granola snack uh, recipe for my family, um, but also with my customers in mind. And that's how um, Amazing was born. It's like that snack uh, just kind of uh, was a hit among, you know, just my community and mm -hmm. decided that it just made sense to just go ahead and launch a business focusing solely on that. And I thought it would definitely be easier just to focus on one recipe or, you know, a modified recipe versus like, you know, coming up with seven, you know, every week. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, wow. um, so anyways, that, that's the story, but really, um, what led me to opening a business because I wanted to, um, try to figure out a solution to, um, you know, have that question of how I could spend more quality time with my, my family. Yeah. Wow. And you know what I love about this, Stephanie, is that two things really stand out to me. One, you saw a personal need and you recognized that you had to do something about that. But mm -hmm. two, you also had that desire to do something for other people. Like you said, other working moms. So that mm -hmm. really shows two, two very strong key components that many people face those same things. How can I help myself and help others? So what a great mm -hmm. example of accomplishing both <laughs> and, you know and we talked about the pivotal moment and how that you know it is centered around something that's important so mm -hmm. in your pivots mm -hmm. were you able to discover what was really important or pivotal for you basically it was just family um my my children just being being there for them um and without and not feeling torn between um you know, a commitment to a job and a commitment to my family and having to experience that, that guilt when I'm to make that choice. Um, that was the, the main, the main reason for the pivot. But my, I think the central focus was my, my children and my, and my family, um, and just yeah. being, being there for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and I found too, that so many people, they make the pivot because of what's important. But as they kind of dig deeper into their pivot, as they are actually taking those steps, it becomes even bigger. It's even more huge because they start mm -hmm. seeing the benefit. And so that's always a beautiful thing when you really right. can see like, this is truly what gives me that satisfaction and that, that sense of fulfillment because I'm, I'm sticking to what's important to me. Exactly. I think along the way, I think some other things presented themselves. Um, um, I guess as you just learn and grow up and, and discover who you are. So um, yeah, just uh, wanting to share, um, you know, healthy eating habits with others, um, with my family. And then also um, as we launched Amazing, we wanted it to be uh, a platform where we can encourage others. Um, cause uh, my, my, in, in my pivotal moment, I discovered that um, it's, it's scary, you know, to take that leap. Um, yeah. But, but you, you know, you have great ideas, but then it's like to actually go for it is a little bit scary. So I just wanted to encourage people, um, to, you know, to go for it, like to live their best lives, um, help, the, you know, go after their dreams and help it to become a you know, so that it can become a reality. Um, because if I didn't do that, it was like, there's so many things that I have experienced because of this business that um, um, fear would have um, prevented me from experiencing that if I didn't just take that leap and go forward with it. So, yeah, um, so yeah I just want it to be a, a platform to encourage others as well. That's awesome. That is so awesome. And it is very encouraging and, and inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> you know, another topic. So when we talk about making a pivot, there's obviously certain adjustments that are needed in order to do that. But I found when I was kind of researching this and putting this together, I thought it was interesting that adjustment can be defined slightly different than a pivot. 
Uh, the definite and a definition for adjustment is the process of adapting or becoming used to a new situation, which could be slightly different than pivoting. So my question for you, when has it been necessary for you to perhaps make an adjustment rather than a pivot? Can you think of a time where you had to actually kind of make that adjustment, maybe adapt to a new circumstance or new situation? Um, it's like all the time, like, um, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, like, um, like for, for my schedule, basically like, uh, along the way um so my my children are older now i've been doing this my my youngest is now 13. um but when my um my children are you know went through the, the school system and when my daughter entered uh middle school we just decided that we just didn't like the um impact that's or the changes that we were seeing in her so we uh decided to um homeschool um, take pull her out of school and homeschool um, her and then the following year we pulled my son out so I guess at that time I had to uh, adjust my schedule um, so that we could you know handle the homeschooling as well as the uh, managing the business so um, basically I do a lot of my functions at night we do baking at night um, to, to allow me to be home you know and and you know, oversee the um, homeschooling during the day. Um, yeah. But I guess in the in the this era of uh, <laughs> COVID nineteen, it's actually turned out to be a benefit. So we didn't have to transition too much during this time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's very true. That's very true. Yeah. And you know, the, kind of taking the concept of of pivoting and all that from basketball terms, which again, when I kind of put this. The series of this program together, I, I kind of dug into um, basketball and, and pivots and things like that necessary with that. And what I find is interesting is that when it comes to basketball, there are several different important moves that actually get to the win. There's pivots, there's uh, you know dribbling, there's shooting, there's rebound, there's all these different components, but they all are very important in order for the win. And that's really how it is in life. You know, we pivot, we adjust. Sometimes we have to compromise. Like there's all these different aspects of what we have to do. So I, I appreciate that you bring that out because I'm sure making that adjustment to homeschooling probably was, was huge, you know, and, and, and required a kind of a different mindset to, to, mm -hmm. to make that shift. But like you said, you saw the need and you did what you had to do. Right, right. Um, so I had some people who encouraged me along the way who were already homeschooling and introduced me to different programs just to make it a little bit easier. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, you have to, it's a yeah, it was an adjustment. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, I mean, like I said, every, you know, you're you're such an example, such an inspiration. Just being a businesswoman, a mom, and and handling your business. And to kind of wrap it up, if you could leave our viewers with a, a golden nugget or something, you know, motivational quote or just something that you would like to share specifically with the viewers, what would that be? Um, so I, I hate to bring it back to my business, but um, we just try to inspire other, so like our motto is just to be extraordinary, be adventurous, and to be amazing and in life um, and that's what i really just want to share with others like be extraordinary just be your best self be adventurous you know be willing to take risks no matter what it is like and um, um be o be amazing um amazing is just not you know an amazing person but someone who you know takes the steps to live that happy and fulfilled life and um create their own amazing moments in a daily basis. I love it. I love it. Well, viewers, I, I know you're probably just as inspired as I have been. And be sure to check out the product. It really is amazing. <laughs> and I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you can get it on Amazon, correct? Because I, I think I ordered yeah. mine. Yeah. We um, have a limited supply on 
on Amazon, we're actually transitioning, um, um, you know, the way we fulfill those orders. So okay. we're trying to sell out now. We're, when we sell out of what's currently in stock, um, then we'll actually, and then hopefully that will be this week or, or the following week. And then um, we plan to restock in July. Um, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, no. <laughs> so you heard it there. You can get it from Amazon. It's also in some local stores and some Whole Foods, correct? Yes, in the D.C. region. Um, so actually, if you go to our website, um, amazingfood.com, we have a list of our retail partners. Awesome. Um, also order from our website. Um, we ship na nationwide, um, a flat <laughs> weight of shipping fee and orders of $50 or more are um, shipped for free. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That is good to know. Thank you again, Stephanie, for joining me for Pivotal Moments. Like I said, I've been looking forward to talking with you. I follow you from a distance and <laughs> check out your product. It's amazing. And just thank you for the example that you set for, for women and, you know, for business owners. And once again, thank you for joining my show today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, your support and just for having me on the show. <laughs> You're very welcome. And viewers, that is it. That is a wrap for today's Pivotal Moments with Lolita. Be sure to tune in to check out our next guest. We are super excited about all the amazing people that are stopping through and sharing their Pivotal Moments. So we'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>